Morgan is an HTTP request logger middleware for Node.js. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Morgan as a login middleware in our Express.js application. And we're also going to add custom tokens using this library. Don't forget to hit that like button and also please subscribe to the channel. And now let's jump into it. This is our Express application where we create an API using the Express router, actually here. And we added a couple of endpoints to get books and to create new books. We also add a middleware to handle user authentication. Okay, now we are going to start working with Morgan to add a login in our application, actually HTTP login in our application. So I'm going to install Morgan, npm install Morgan. Now that we have Morgan installed in our application. Let's take a look at the package.json file. Here it is. First, I'm going to use Morgan to add login to the routes. I'm going to add login just to this route. So first we need to import Morgan. So this is const Morgan, and this is require Morgan. And now I'm going to add Morgan as a middleware to the get endpoint. So this is Morgan. And here we have some predefined formats for the login. In Morgan, we can set different formats for the login. There are a set of predefined tokens, such as the method of the request, the URL, the status, the content length of the response, the response time, and there are some others. And there are also some predefined formats. So for example, the tiny predefined format is going to include these tokens, the method, the URL, the status, etc. And there are some other predefined formats. For example, the depth format includes all these tokens. It's pretty similar to the tiny format. The short format includes the remote address, the remote user, the method, the URL, and some others. And there is a combined format that includes all these tokens that we can see here. Okay, first let's use the combine format. Combine. And let's start the server. npm run dev. And now let's perform a get request to this endpoint that is API v1 books. And as we can see here, we have the login that includes the remote address, the date and time of the request the endpoint, the combined format is pretty similar to the Apache log format. We have here, for example, the user agent. In my case, I'm using Insomnia as the REST API client. So this is what is showing here. We can also use tiny format. Let's send another request. And we have this format that is shorter, where we have the HTTP method, get in this case, we have the endpoint, API v1 books, we have the HTTP code, we have the response length, and we have the response time in milliseconds. And here we can also use the predefined tokens. So for example, here we can use a URL. So, and now if I run the request, this is going to include the endpoint that I'm calling in this request. We can also show the method, for example. And if I send this request, here we have the URL, that is the path, and here we have the HTTP method. Okay, and now I'm going to remove this middleware from the route, and I'm going to put it in the application so that we log every request, not only the requests that go to this route. So let's go to the app. Here I'm going to add the import of the Morgan library. I'm going to remove these middleware from here. And I'm going to use the middleware at the application level. So this is app dot use. And this is Morgan. And we pass the format that we want to use here. Now, if I send a get request, we're going to see the URL and the HTTP method. And if I perform a post request, again, we're going to see the URL and the HTTP method. Okay, now let's see an example on how to create custom tokens. 
So we need to set the new token to the Morgan instance. So this is Morgan dot token. First, we need to pass the string that we are going to use as the token. So let's say that we want to log the body of the post requests. So here we can use body. And we need to pass a callback function here. This callback function receives the request. And using this request, we need to return what is the value that we want to log. So in this case, we're going to log the body of the request. So this is request dot body. And to format this log properly, we need to use stringify. So this is json dot stringify. And we're going to pass the body as a JSON object, as we are doing here. So I want to pass this JSON object, and I want to show that JSON as part of my logs. So first, I need to add this token as part of the format. So this is colon body. OK, and now if I run a post request, sending this JSON as the body of the request, as we can see here, we have the URL, the HTTP method, and now we have the body of the request. Now let's say that we want to just log the identifier that we receive in our request. So first, let's create a new endpoint to return a book by ID. So this is slash books slash colon ID. And let's show the identifier here. This is get by ID from Express Router, and let's return the ID. And this is request dot params dot ID. And now let's go to the app and let's add a custom token to show the ID as part of the logs. So this is Morgan dot token. Here we are going to use ID as the string that is going to be part of the format. And here we have this function, and here we just return request.params.id. And we are going to add the ID as part of this format string. So this is colon ID. Okay, now let's run a get request passing 123 as the ID. And as we can see here, we get the identifier as part of the logs. The same if we pass 456, for example. Again, we have the identifier and the rest of the elements that we added here in our middleware. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.